the horizon to be judged and to take his seat at this round table of menaces. But ladies and gentlemen, please rise as it is time to praise the sun because Escanor has finally arrived to take his seat. Like this man's arrogance is just straight up unmatched. Dude will literally go zero to 100 in a second. But this man is so prideful, so arrogant, just straight up disrespectful. I just had to give him his own episode. So y'all already know we got the evidence on deck. But before we dive into the evidence, we have to give a shout out to our sponsor that is sponsoring this trial today. And that would be NordVPN. NordVPN is one of the ain't gonna lie. VPNs that Get we use. With NordVPN's amazing speed, it Get your bag and go lie. Get your bag. Get your bag. Get your bag. All right, back to the back to the regular schedule programming. You know what I'm saying? If it loads, pending. So y'all make sure y'all protecting to be safe out on the internet. Get a champ. And again, <clears throat> exhibit A. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you exhibit A. Bodying the Ten Commandments. So while Bonnie, Lane, and Jericho are on the run from Galen and Meliskula, they end up falling into a ravine and they're trying to find a place to hide. So they end up finding this cave and they see this door. So they walk in the door and they end up finding a tavern with this dude. So when you're watching this for the first time, you're looking at the screen, you like, who is this skinny ass? And bro is scared. He's like, hold on, hold on, holy night, nah, G. Hold on, I'm not trying to get arrested today. So then he starts talking to Bond, and Jericho's like, wait a minute, you know this skinny ass nigga? Hold on, hold on, cuz something is off. So he ends up hiding them in his pantry. So then Gallon and Meliskula pull up and bro is bricks right now. So they end up getting wasted in his tavern. And they like, ooh, yes, we like you, cuz. Shoot, when we wipe out humanity, we're gonna keep you alive. <laughs> then they like, alright, bro, give it up. We know them niggas hiding in that pantry. But then Gallon's like, you know what? Let's play a game. If you win, I'll let them slide. All you have to do is literally have a turn-based battle with me. Bro literally wants to have an actual Pokemon battle with this man. And if you run away, you turn into stone. So dude just straight up slaps him and he is out cold. And Gallon's like, damn. I thought I only tapped a little on the shoulder. <laughs> Sorry ass. So then it turns morning and the sun is up and homie is still laid out. So then Gallon is looking at this wall and he sees this ginormous ax. So he ends up trying to pick it up, but he can't even lift it. So I was like, damn this heavy ass ass. What the fuck is this mule near or some shit? But then bro snatches it right out of his hand. I was like, nigga, get your filthy ass hands off of my damn axe. No, I feel sorry for y'all niggas because y'all came all the way here just to die a painful death. So they like, hold on, no way Eskimo you can be human. But he like, nah, I'm a human, I right. But the thing is, the I stand above he was definitely him, ain't gonna lie. He was definitely him. stand above everybody. I will literally step on your ass. So then we finally see this is Escanor, the sin of pride. And my God, this man is prideful, all right? Bro looks like he put on at least about 500 pounds just worth of pure raw muscle. And his whole personality just took like a whole 180 turn. Dog's like I had to take off the light up sketches and throw on the black one, so what's good? So Gallon's like, oh, you bold, bold. You the most arrogant bastard I've ever met. So Gallon starts laughing at Escanor. It's like, <laughs> yes, yes, get out of my face. He just chopped him in half with no warning at all. So Gallon reattaches himself. And he's like, oh, yes, I like this, my boy. So then Escanor basically says, yeah, uh, I basically kind of held back on you because uh, there's no point in one shotting you because that's no fun. So Dog gets pissed off because he's basically just been humiliated. So then he charges up to full power and he's like, all right, then you want to talk that hot shit? So be it. So bro just whacks him at full power. Like, my God, bro, the mountains have split. So we gotta be thinking, okay, okay, this man gotta be dead, right? Right? This man is still standing here and he only scratched him. Bro, imagine. <laughs> that has gotta be the most humiliating way to ever die. Onyx, baby. You ended up dying playing your own game with your own dumb ass stipulations that you made with it. And Escanor talking heavy right now. He like, Shit. I don't blame him. I mean, it was against me. So then he's looking at old girl and he's like, Say hi. Uh, so I don't hit females. So I'll give you a choice. You can escape or you could die. Just pick. But then she ends up activating her DSLs and she's like, Ooh, give me your soul. Ooh. So she just straight up snatches soul. this man's oh, soul. Oh, nah. And straight up eats. But this man's soul is so hot. It literally starts frying her insides. Looking like she just ate a whole bag of talkies and ghost pepper chips. So this man just straight up deep fried her and turned her into a piece of charcoal. And she is done. GG's bitch. 
So then he starts talking to Bond and he's like, listen, my boy, it's almost noon. So you stay your ass here and that's an order. <laughs> oh, man ain't even a captain and he giving orders. Hey, yo. Oh, nah, bro. This man's different. So after this, Escanor decided to just take a little side quest. So we ended up fighting Gother and just straight up slapped him for playing with his memories. Then after this, he just straight up one shot of Gothini and drove. Then look at him. He like, next time you play with my memories like that, I'm gonna slap the f*** out of you. So later on, the Ten Commandments launch a full attack on Leonis. And everybody is paralyzed because of Esteros' commandment, which is basically anybody that stands before him literally like cannot move. They can't attack him or anything. And Eskinor's big ass is walking right up towards this nigga. Bro's like, hold on, hold on, why are you moving right now? And bro's like, why should I bear any hatred towards somebody weaker than myself? All I feel is pity. So dog gets right up in his face and he's like, yeah, Yo, that's savage. your pack gonna be hit real good tonight, boy. Then this man says, please don't harbor any hatred towards me. If you would be stricken by the own effects of your commandment, then it wouldn't be any fun for me. <laughs> yo, this man basically said, hey, yo, you better watch your own powers, bro, because that might end up backfiring on you I. from being face to face with me. Yo, this man is a demon. So then Escarosa just socks him. And Escanor is like, oh, so it's like that then. And then he just pile drives him all the way down. And then he kicks him all the way up like a damn elevator. And just straight up comboed his ass. And we like, damn, he getting his ass beat right now. But dude ends up throwing the punch and he blocks it. But the punch was so strong, it drops him. Dog's like, oh, what's wrong? Did a coin fall on the ground or some shit? Don't tell me that little weak ass punch I just threw just knocked the wind out you. So then they end up swinging again, but he ends up using a full counter on him. So while Esteros is explaining his ability, Escanor's just patting his scratch like, wow, no wonder I actually felt pain from that. It was my own strength. So he charges up his son and he's like, hmm, I guess I gotta get serious myself now. So he just straight up blasts his ass. Dude literally launched him all the way to the lake. This man is just riding the sun looking down at him like, mm -hmm, you really thought you ate that shit, didn't you, bum ass nigga? So then he just straight up slams this sun in his face and drills this all the way to the bottom of the lake. And Dog said, no, I'm not even done yet. So then he blows it up and it just straight up evaporates it entirely. And he is walking towards him without a care in the world right now. Look at him, he technically just deep fried him in the lake. So they get to scrap him again, but Esterosa ends up using a full counter and looks like he just blasted his entire face off. So Esterosa thinks he's already won. He's like, yeah, I'm smoking your pack tonight, cuz. All that muscle for nothing, you sorry as hell. But oh boy, <laughs> would you look at the time? So while he's standing there, his chest gets split open. And bro starts talking, he's like, wow, you really thought you ate, didn't you? Who decided that? You thought this was over? Who decided that? Bum ass nigga, I decide when this is over. The dog's like, do yourself a favor and fuck out of my face. So he just sends him flying, bro is gone. And then Zeldris comes in and tries to stop it, but that's just dumb. So they both go, adios. Dude just really fried them off the map. So yeah, that was exhibit A and it's time to move on to uh, exhibit B. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you exhibit B. Exhibit B consists of running Meliodas's pockets and embarrassing a god. So as we can see right now, Meliodas has lost his damn mind. So Escanor is like, yeah, hey, it's like I gotta clean up the no, little bug at the end of the series. So he tells lot. Merlin to trap them both in this cube. So while Meliodas is in his assault form, bro is talking mad heavy right now. Bro's like, shut your fat ass up, you lowly human. So Escanor is looking at him like, mm -hmm, so you wanna fight, boy? So Escanor is like, yeah, I'm in a <laughs> good mood right now because I can finally prove while I'm better than you. Look at your drip, whack. Look at your animation quality, whack. So they start swinging, so Meliodas hits him with the Beyblade. Let it rip! So Meliodas ends up stabbing Escanor, and Bro ends up falling back. So everybody's like, ain't no way this boy just lost. But Merlin's like, nah, G, hold on, hold on, just a few more minutes. So Escanor gets up, and he's like, wow, that actually kind of stunk. You pretty strong, my boy, but obviously second to me. God, bro, this man obviously. is getting bigger, bro. He has no neck. Meliodas ends up punching him in the chest. 
and he puts his nasty ass low budget stink ass yeah. feet on his face like come on bruh so they continue to scrap so melio just swings but his sword ends up getting stopped by this man's muscles i was like get this weak ass butter knife off me so then he starts swinging but melio just ends up using this man as a human pinball so melio just thinks it's over but ho oh, oh, ho oh. <laughs> ho Look at the time. It's time. And oh my god, this nigga looks like a fusion between Abomination and the Hulk. So then Meliodas attacks him and slices him about a thousand times. But then bro turns around and looks at him like, wow, that tickles. So he uses his hand, cuts the literal air, and it one shots him. <laughs> nigga hit him with a divine chop. So then he's looking down at him like, how does it feel? How does it feel to get looked down on by a human? You bitch ass nigga. Even though this yo. animation quality is ass, it still didn't stop me from whipping your ass. Okay. Yo, he just What's up with that? This man beat him so bad he made him look like a Roblox custom created character. So later on, <laughs> I'm about to say, like, you no, really going in for that animation, bro. Like, I don't think he likes like the animation. Right now, man's like, oh. Lady Merlin, let me get in them cheeks. Just one sniff of the coochie, that's all I ask. Oh, so while nah. this is happening, the archangels are getting drunk off their ass. And then Dosio's like, my God, what is this presence? Is this a drink hitting? So then he flies outside. He's like, hey, yo, big and fat ass. What y'all doing out here, man? Then Eskimo's like, oh my, Princess Margaret has been taken over by a So <laughs> then he jumps up and he's like, <clears throat> pardon me, but uh, it disgusts me to be looked down on by someone smaller. So allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Eskimoor. Pleasure to meet it you. It disgusts me you know, to get Eskimo looked down on by Dude someone. Dude only had to take the high ground to assert his dominance over a god. So Ludosio starts attacking him. <laughs> this man is just straight up slapping his sword away, bruh. Dog is looking at him like, uh, bitch, can I help you? So he starts swinging again and <laughs> dude is weaving on his John, dog. I was like, can you please calm down with this temper tantrum you were throwing, man? So he grabs him, but he escapes and he ends up chopping up his whole shirt. So then Ludosio basically says, all right, listen, my boy, uh, you got my brother's power, so uh, I'm gonna need you to run your pockets. But then Eskimo points at her and he's like, shut your stupid ass up. I ain't relinquishing shit. You know what, matter of fact, run your fucking pockets, bitch. So bro just straight up <laughs> evaporates his sword. And he's like, you should be grateful I'm slept out of your dumb ass for running up on me like that. Yo, but imagine. The King of Arrogance strikes again. So yeah, that was exhibit B and it is finally time for our final exhibit. <clears throat> Exhibit C. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have finally reached our final exhibit, Exhibit C. Exhibit C consists of poking Zeldris and jumping the Demon King. So as we can see, Ludosio Merlin and Escanor are squaring up with Zeldris, Cusack, and Chandler right now. Yo, <laughs> look how he is looking down at this man, bruh. Looking down at him like he's about to discipline his child or something. So while they're fighting, Zeldris uses this move and it's like a literal vacuum. So while everybody's getting pulled in, look how this man anchors himself down. God, yo, this man is just a straight giga. Bruh, say, I'm not moving an inch. So Ludosio ends up getting stuck on Escanor's back. And look at him, he's like, wow, you need a piggyback ride or some sh So Ludosio's asking for help, but Escanor's like, nah, G, I'm good. Matter of fact, what gives you the authority to give me orders? So Ludosio's like, who the hell do you think you talking to, nigga? I'm a god. And bro's like, uh, okay, congratulations. You want a cookie or something? Sorry, but I don't obey weak niggas. But then Merlin's like, bro, just help the bitch. So then he grabs her like a toy and he's like, all right, then uh, you better have a good plan or else I'm gonna let your ass go right here, right now. But then they end up getting slammed into a wall again. So then Eskimo's like, all right, yo, I I'm sick of this. I'm about to discipline this boy. So this man gets up and he is straight up walking through the vacuum. And Mez is talking heavy right now. He's saying first Meliodas, then Esterosa, and now yo bitch ass. My, my, looks like I got a body the whole family now. But then <laughs> Zeldra's talking and he's saying, nah, I ain't like them. I'm built different. Then Eskimo just laughs at him and he's like, shut up, boy. So he slams his ax into him, but his ax ends up cracking. He was like, you know what, bro? I don't even need the ax. So he just straight up chucks the ax. And Zeldra's is like, hmm. You've laid down your weapon. You must have accepted death, haven't you? But Eskinor is like, nah, nigga. I don't need a hand for your ass. So he gives him the divine shot. And oh my God, look at Zeldris where he's like, oh my God, oh my God. He's only using a hand. So Zeldris steps back, but Eskinor is like, nah, bring that ass here, boy. So he hits this man with the divine poke. He straight up pokes him. 
Not the divine that right pope. there might be one of the most disrespectful things in, in just history. Imagine fighting somebody and they beat you by poking you to death. Nah, bro, I would never show my face again. So after this, Escanor actually ended up losing his power of sunshine. And the Demon King is attacking, and this little thing is licking this man up right now. Oh, Jesus no. Christ. But then Mael comes down and saves him. So then Escanor's saying, all right, listen, bro, I need sunshine back. But Mael's like, uh, you know you will die if you get this power back, right? But brother's like, ah, if I get to run the hands with the Demon King before I die, then so be it. So while they're fighting the demon, this man comes out of nowhere and stops his sword with his hand. Looking at him like, my, my, hello, bootleg Sephiroth, how are you? You see, today is not your lucky day because, uh, look at the time. <laughs> it's um, noon. And this man is talking heavy. Yo, like, bro, when the sun goes down, this man is so useless, bro. I'm telling you, it's literally like, bro, you, you he has to hide, bro. And the sun come back up. Look, what it, look who it is, bro. I'm at my strongest peak. It's noon. It's noon. It's noon. Oh my gosh, bro. This dude's oh, but when he's when he's new, when it's noon, he's definitely OP, bro. But the rest of the time, he's a regular civilian, bro. Can't wait to beat the brakes off of your ass. So then he tells everybody to stay out of this. This is my fight and my fight only. So they both just start swinging my God. Straight up rock em, sock em. Then he just smashes his head into the ground. He's saying, you are nothing compared to me, you weak ass nigga. Your punch is soft as hell. So they keep on scrapping and then he turns into like this ginormous flaming super saiyan nigga look like infernape. So we get back to the fight and this man is just eating all of his punches to the face. No. Then he just started walking him down and just laying all the hands on him. Just absolutely comboing the shit out of his ass. So, I mean, we got a little bit of his backstory, and yeah, yeah, this man was a menace. Straight up slapped Meliodas and Vaughn, and then he ran out and just literally beat up an entire mountain. So, we get back to the fight, and Meliodas is getting mad on him. He's like, bro, you really ain't gonna let us jump in with you? Come on, dog. At least let us get a few licks in. So, he just said, all right, then. So, they just jumped him. And yeah, that was basically raps after that. And then, yeah, you know, after this, <sighs> the worst part of this show happened, dog. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. One of the only reasons I even watched this show was because of this man dog. Said, sorry, y'all, I gotta ascend to the round table. Hey, I mean, at least he got the smooch at the end, though. Yeah, but all right, Peter, really to do it, man. Facts. So yeah, after all that evidence, bro, just come in, take your seat, just sit your ass down. Just the plain up arrogance in just the absolute zero to 100 switches? Nah, bro. There, there, there should be no question. <laughs> actually, yeah, bro. That's basically it. Uh, Make sure y'all go sub to the second channel. We're actually starting it. Yo, WBDO w, <laughs> w ain't going to lie, bro. Yeah, I might have to go, go back and rewatch Seven, Seven Daily Sins. Ain't going to lie, bro. I forgot, like, how good that. And I'm not going to say good. But some of the some of the fight scenes were pretty fire. Not gonna lie, some of the fight scenes were pretty fire. Make sure you like, subscribe. You know what I'm saying? I see you next. Uh, leave, leave some comments. You know what I'm saying? What do you what you what you think about the video? What you um, what you think right now? But what you eating? Are you hungry? Cause I'm hungry. I ain't gonna lie. You have a good one.